I did a super popular video on receiving International Beacon Project beacons on HF. Here's another twist. I'm using Kiwi SDR. So I'm actually receiving all this on a laptop. Not with my own antenna. In this case, I'm using the VK5 ARG Kiwi SDR, which is in a low noise country location with an excellent antenna. So it's hearing a lot more signals than what I would get at home. Anyway, the trick is what I'm going to show you in more detail just across the top. The secret is that in the far right you've got extension. Now there's all sorts of things in there like there's a CW decoder I tried that, I didn't get great results with that. There's fax reception, FSK, FT8 reception, that works really well. Um, there's a noise blinker in there, slow scan television, S meter. Anyway, one of them is called IBP scan. So, I've already got it on there. I'll just uh, select that and I'm on 20 meters I'm trying to hear the 14100 beacon now I could go to CW but the bandwidth is very narrow not much audio anyway I can use either upper sideband or lower sideband When I'm on lower sideband, 14101 is a good frequency because the beacon's on 14.100 and you're getting it on the lower sideband. And if I wanted to go to upper sideband, then I would have to drop the frequency down 2 kilohertz down to 14099. There was a beacon there, but there was also another signal. Look, if you look at the screen, you can hear there's some interference. So that's where it's a good idea to swap the sideband. We'll go back to lower sideband, and we'll go up to 14101, and there we are that interference is gone so that's good but what I really want to show you is the scanning feature you might notice there it's even identifying the beacon that's transmitting down on the waterfall there this is the thing that pops up when you've chosen the IBP scanner you've got the call signs of the beacons across the top And just wait until we hear one. And then again there. tiny little spectrum displays but you can just follow it you're not hearing much from the ZL nor the VK6 J to IGY there was a good signal. And 
VR2B is there as well. But the point is that even if you don't know Morse code, you can just set up this little IBP scan thing and you get this extra screen that opens up and you can see in conjunction with the timing what beacon you're supposed to be receiving and then it's written on the screen as well so that's a handy little feature if you're using a online Kiwi SDR There we are, back at the start, 4U1UN. Every successful QRP outing needs a good antenna. To get some ideas, check out my books, Hand-Carried QRP Antennas, and more Hand-Carried QRP Antennas. For more information, visit my website, vk3ye.com, or search their titles on Amazon.